What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shree Bad. How y'all feeling? How you feeling? How you doing? How you doing? You haven't heard from me in a while when it comes to this coronavirus business, right? I've been living real life, gathering intel, doing my thing. But I definitely heard Governor Cuomo today, right? I just finished listening to him speak. They're asking questions now. Some of you might be watching still. That's okay. I cut off because I heard enough, right? I ain't need to hear no more. Now, of course, I didn't jump in at the beginning, but I really feel like I came in just in time. You know, one of the things that I talked about in my last video was the mental health aspect of this whole situation for New York City, you know? And right now, Governor Cuomo is having a problem with people not doing the social distancing thing. They're all up in the parks doing their thing. Still, you know, people are still out on the street, hanging out, meeting up, taking pictures 15 deep, all this you know, he's worried about that. He's not a fan of that. And you know, if they can't stay inside because they got the cabin fever or they got this mental, you know, they anxious, they, they impatient, this and that, they need to talk to somebody. I spoke about that. I said, yo, we got something called Thrive NYC. It was being scrutinized all this time. Why the hell are you not using it now? Y'all heard me, right? But when I jumped in on the live stream of Governor Cuomo, he said that 6,000, it's a little bit over 6,000, but 6,000 mental health professionals stepped up and said they will do this for free. What? You think I ain't feel good hearing that? Now, I don't know if he listened to me, but I'm sure in a city with 8 million people, if I'm saying something, I'm not the only one saying something, okay? Somebody got to listen it and, and speak on it. Somebody got to hear it and say, yo, this is, come on, man, we got to do this. This don't make no sense, right? And there's more to talk about. There's much more to talk about th what he said that really got me going, but I, and I love it. You know what I'm saying? And there's some things that he said that kind of disturbed me too. We're going to get into that, okay? But I was so happy to hear about that. That made me smile. And for those of you living in New York City, New York State, you need to talk to somebody. You need some mental health, you know, and journaling don't help. And talking to your mama sure don't help. You know, you got cabin fever, you got these kids, you need somebody else to talk to. The number is 844-863-9314. If that ain't the right number, I'll put the right number in the description. But trust me, I, I, I don't think I took the screenshot, but I sure did write the number down before I took the screenshot. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. 40,000 healthcare workers and vendors volunteered to help out. That's awesome sauce. That's dope. That's dope, yo. Let's get it. And mind y'all, I'm not for government like that. None of that extra business. You know what I'm saying? I would love to be a survivalist. I think in a past life I was a survivalist. You know, but right now, I'm a person that lived through 9-11 up in here in these New York streets. Okay? I, lit, I was here. I told you I was here. So right now what I'm seeing is the resilience you know what I'm saying? We hunkering down. If this is what standing on your square looks like, we beginning to stand on our square. 
You know, the governor's worried about the next two or three weeks where he said we're going to apex and all that. So let's get to the not so good news, you know. I follow the homie Lisa Evers. I told y'all that, right? Before we get into what Lisa Evans says, which I totally believe and understand, I trained somebody yesterday. I did a boot camp, all right? I went to Prospect Park. We rocked it out, okay? We did practice social distancing. We were six feet apart from one another. We had gloves on. We had a medicine ball, and I cleaned it with my Santa Clean hospital-grade wipe. Word up. Wipe my hands with that Joan before I got a couple of wipes. Wipe my, put the gloves on, put the wipe, wipe my hand with that, put the gloves on, wipe my joint, my, my medicine ball with that. Shorty put on her gloves. We stayed six feet apart. I yelled loud enough she could hear me. We did whatever. We got it done. We actually ran up the hill, walked up the hill, did some workouts for the hill. I was actually six feet away from her but behind her so that she can hear me got next up not too close of course you know we did the Wuhan dap which is the two feet hit hit we also did the Wakanda salute all of that but it still worked out you know what I'm saying nobody got cooties but people were kind of close to one another at the park when I was walking towards Prospect Park it was a lot of people walking close to me. Now, I had a face mask on. I generally wear face masks, for those of you who know me. In the wintertime, yeah, I'm popping that sucker face mask all day. So, you know, I was chilling. I ain't need no regular mask. I had my face mask. Good. You know? Real good. And we had water, so we were drinking water constantly, which is important during this coronavirus. Okay, but then today, you know, I hear Lisa Evans talking and she said that the governor was like, yo, he don't like, he need y'all to have social distancing. He's not against people. This is what I got from her. And if I'm wrong, put a comment, you know what I'm saying? Put a comment in the video and let me know. I'll get back to you. Trust me. Now, from what she was saying, the governor ain't, and notice I ain't say the mayor, Hey, man, de Blasio, we, we holler at you another time. We looking at the governor. Anyway, so the governor say he ain't got no problem with people exercising. He ain't got no problem with people working out, but people need to have social distancing. Clearly, you can't play basketball six feet apart. That don't make no sense. We can work out six feet apart. I can yell to you what we going to do. You see me, I see you. Put your glasses on. We good. You know what I'm saying? If two people... Who live together, decide to go for a walk, and they six feet away from the next set of people. Okay, I guess that's all right. But we not following that. We too close to each other still. We all up on each other, you know, do 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 do. So she said, you know, if social distancing don't happen the way it's supposed to by Saturday, he gonna close the parks down, y'all. I don't want that, yo. I don't want that. I don't want him to close the parks down. What you think gonna happen when he close the parks down? Where you think these people gonna go? There's homeless people out here, y'all. And I have not heard of any cases of any homeless people who got the coronavirus in New York City. I know a person that works in a homeless shelter. Don't let me tell you what she gotta go through. I won't right now but there are no cases of homeless people with the coronavirus dead from the coronavirus that she knows of in new york city in the particular borough i live in okay and my borough is big i don't live in no small borough okay so if the parks are not open to regular people and the homeless people, you know, they walk around the street and then when it's time for shelter time to go inside, they huddled up over there wherever they at, right? Where you think these people going to go? They're going to go in the street. And then it's going to be all of this fucking army and tank and police fuckery. Man, I don't want to see none of that, yo. I really don't. Keep it cute, New York. Keep it fucking cute. 
Go outside, practice your six feet of social distancing. If you got to go into business and they say four at a time, do that, do, you know, wait a minute. Keep a certain space. We're going to get to that in a second, okay? Another thing I liked about the governor, 888 people are in the ICU right now. That's 3% of all the people that are positive with the coronavirus. Now, when you think about New York City, who only had, who only only has 8 million people in it, we're not talking about the whole state right now. Remember, the city is concentrated. The rest of New York State ain't that concentrated. At the beginning of this, Westchester County had more cases of the, of the coronavirus than New York City did. But y'all have to understand, Westchester County is right next to the Bronx. Up, up, up at the tip of the Bronx. Once you leave the Bronx, you're in Westchester County. You're in Yonkers. Mount Vernon, them areas. But them still is technically New York State. Them is not New York City, yo. Okay, it's a lot more spread out in New York State. I'm sure Buffalo is a little bit more concentrated. I don't hear about no coronavirus in Buffalo. Eight million people ain't up enough. You know what I'm saying? Albany is the capital of New York State. You know how far away that is from New York City? Five hours or so. Maybe more. Maybe more. I haven't been out there in a long time. Okay? And it's a lot of country in the state of New York. And the city is totally different. It's the city. Hey, I ain't mad. I live here. There's a lot of people here. Okay? A lot of people here. So, back to what I was saying about the people in the ICU. 3% of these positive people in the ICU are people who are elderly or are at high risk. Okay? Governor Cuomo said he is focusing on these people the most. I agree. Okay? Because the elderly is your grandma. The elderly is your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, your, your elderly auntie, your freaking neighbor. That you may not talk to if you live in an apartment building, co-op, or condo. You know what I'm saying? High-risk people who have respiratory issues, who take medication, serious diabetes, serious heart issues, things like this. This person might be in your family. So if they so if they sitting in your local, you know, in your house and you can't do social distancing, what's gonna happen? Because it's hard to do social distancing in a house if it's mad people in the house and somebody got to go to work. Or somebody's high risk. You understand what I'm saying? Don't worry, we'll get to that again. Because most people who don't live in New York City do not understand what it is. But Governor Cuomo, he's a pretty good cat. You know what I'm saying? Because... Not only is he like informing New Yorkers what's good, he's also informing the rest of the country what's good. And I was on Facebook watching the live stream and I appreciated how many people came in and was like, yo, I'm from this country outside of America and I'm looking for you to tell me what's good. They're not looking for that other New Yorker, man. See, people forget this other guy's a New Yorker too, but... He not the New Yorker I'm checking for. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really listen to him. I listen to this New Yorker right here, my governor. Okay? I'll put it like that. So what he said was that New York, got, New York State got the most cases of the coronavirus. 30,000 people. New Jersey is number two with 3,000. California is number three with 2.6 thousand. 285 deaths over here in New York State. And the next is New Jersey with 44. Don't that sound crazy to you? That sound real crazy, right? Yeah. How you go from 30K to three? And that's the state next door to me. If I decide to travel through Manhattan, I can get to Hoboken in 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Right? But they got three, and I got 30. What's up with that? So, of course, 
the good Governor Cuomo gave his theory, his opinion on why he thinks that New York State, and when he says New York State, I'm telling you, he means New York City. I don't care what y'all talking about. He can cluster in Albany and Buffalo and Hootie Who and Ham to Ham, you know, Nassau and Suffolk County, Long Island, which is technically not a part of New York City. New York City's the five boroughs, baby. Long Island ain't it, Staten Island it, but Long Island ain't it. Those are separate counties next to the city, but maybe technically New York State. I don't know. They might be like Puerto Rico, Commonwealths in New York City or something. I need to find out. So I don't sound so crazy, but I'm a New Yorker so I can make these jokes. Anywho, so his first opinion was that we welcome people from across the globe. International travelers come to New York first. 90% of international travel goes through New York City. What you saying to me? He said we probably had this virus before it even, you know what I'm saying? Before heads even said, bong, this is it. And I believe that. How many Italians live up here? Chinese people live up here? All these people live up here? And they probably ain't even know they had the jammy. You know what I'm saying? Homeboy probably left Wuhan. Homeboy probably left Italy. Kissed the family. I'm out. And then the next day found out everybody over there got that motherfucker, man. Well, and, and, and let's go to that for a second. What you going to do? Fuck with the Chinese people? Come on, man. I don't like that racism shit. I'm not a fan of that. Don't start fucking with Chinese people. Don't start fucking with Italian people and all that shit. Don't do that, man. It don't make no sense, man. Come on, man. Because if this shit was popping first in Africa, what the fuck you think they'd be acting like with black people? Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep that shit, you know what I'm saying? All the conspiracy theories can sit. I don't mind those. Every single one of them can sit, whether they believable or not, true or not, good. I, I, listen, hold that and you can have that. But don't put it on China. Yo, fuck Chinese people. Because, nah, don't do that, Jack. You see mad Chinese food stores is closed right now. I can't get no Chinese food. Now, I won't be wrong if I go up in the Chinese food store and say, yo, anybody here from Wuhan? But come on, I'm not going to, you know, try to bust out the Chinese people like that. I'm not doing that. If I want to slice a pizza and, 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 the, and the person is Italian, I'm not going to be like, yo, man, I'm not. When the last time, you know, I'm not going to start drilling that cat, man. Keep your gloves on. You feel me? Wash your ass. You know, wash your hands. Hand sanitizer. Put a mask on or something. You know, don't don't take it to these levels of the freaking fear mongering and panic. The other thing was, we are close here. There's really no space. People be all up under your ass up in here, yo. If it's one thing black people wish and pray for that live in New York, it's personal space, yo. Oh, my God. The only good thing about this coronavirus in New York is that people have more personal space. My God. <laughs> okay. So here yeah, what? We got till Saturday, y'all. Y'all want to work out? Let's go. We got to keep it, you know, I, I got gloves and shit. You know, I got wipes. You go buy some Clorox or not. Nah, don't get the Clorox. Get the Lysol, Wody. You know what I'm saying? You come with the Lysol wipes, hydrogen peroxide, Lysol spray like I showed y'all in the bathroom video. Yeah, for yo, those of y'all who don't know about the bathroom video, too bad. So sad. Anyway. So, yeah, you know, wash your ass, wash yourself. Yo, gargle your mouth out with salt water. Do a salt water gargle, okay? If you feel sick, stay your ass home. This is what we do regardless, man. Come on, don't make this some old martial law, some old crazy-ass movie or crazy-ass book. Even though it might get there, don't make it so soon, man. Yo, social distancing is a must. Six feet, homies. Come on. Six feet. We can do it, New York. We can do it. Keep the parks open. Okay? 
Don't stand, don't stand, don't stand so close to me. Yo, this has been my theme song for decades. Anybody that's been on a New York subway, that is your theme song, okay? Keep it up, New York. Keep it up. You want to go outside and get your groceries or whatever. You want to go to the park, work out. You want to jog. You want to jog fast. Go around the long way, you heard? Okay? And keep the police in your head. Not the police, New York City police driving in the car with the sirens. I'm talking about Sting and his crew that sing the song. Don't stand. Don't stand. Don't stand so close to me. Don't walk. Don't talk. Don't talk too close to me. What kind of slam? Who hand that? Don't stand so close to me. Y'all have a good one. I'll check you later. Don't talk too close to me.